Yeah, it's, it's a great trouble. experience for them. For them, um, mixing with the older players, it's something that we we do. We have a, a lot of under 16s have played in the under 18s this year, and so all of these experiences will, will add to their development and aid their development. Um, like I said, the experiences in a different type of football. Um, a lot of these players that they're playing against have, have tasted first team football at their respective clubs. This will be a great learning environment for, for each and every one of them. We're going to touch up and tidy up on some of the bits from yesterday because we didn't quite nail it down as much as I would have hoped. Um, but I'm confident enough in this group that we'll nail it down today and the outcome will be a lot better. Now what happens quite a lot with this group of players is when you don't get the first bit right, it's not the end of the world. Stay calm and understand we're still in control. Gal's going to just have a chat with you. Listen, okay, yesterday let ourselves down as a team, okay, the game wasn't even competitive, was it? 3 0 after 25 minutes, all right, which is disappointing. Now, listen, you've made yourself the underdog this morning, all right, everybody in the tournament is questioning you, all right, you've got to go out there. You either shrink or you stick your chest out and you go and front it, okay? That's what you've got to do this morning, all right? I expect us to perform better than we did yesterday. There's a video here that we're going to put on. When you watch it, I think it's a team that's exactly where we are right in this moment in time. Do you know what a winner is? Okay, it's a loser that don't give up. Every time in your career as a coach or as a player, you're going to get beat, you're going to lose, and it's how hard you come back. When you get knocked down, you get back up again. All right, now we got knocked down yesterday. We got to get back up and go again. All right, because that's what winners do. I don't know what to say, really. Either we heal as a team, or we're going to crumble. Inch by inch, play by play, till we're finished. We're in hell right now, gentlemen. Believe me. And we can stay here, get the kicked out of us, or we can fight our way back into the light. We can climb out of hell. One inch at a time. לדוד בואטן, מכניס אותו יפה בחזרה לאדי, רגל שמאל, יכול לבעוט, מעדיף למסור, והנה אחת איפה של קריסטל פאלאס, כל כך פשוט. אישית, נגמרת עם הכדור ברשת, היה יכול uh, לפרגן אולי במסירה? לטיקי וואדי, עדיף לבד. שור פרננדז אל הרחבה, מסוכן מאוד, והנגיחה הזו בידיו של ראסל. הרבה פלייס, זה פרסט פעם, אבל אתה יודע, אנחנו עשינו טוב, אבל פרסט פעם, אנחנו לא עשינו טוב, אבל פרסט פעם. We listened to Paddy and we won the second game by working out. I've told them, you know, don't eat too much, stay hydrated. And they think about the next game. This game's finished and we won it. So we think about the next game. But I think we know what we want and we know what we need to win matches. You know, Malika has been doing well, Tiki, Pierrick. And we've been missing a couple of boys, but we're still doing well. So we just have to keep it up. Like last year when we came here, 
We'd already been playing with the 23s anyway, like from like September to January. But then we came here and they were physically they were a lot stronger, like, like we could tell they were a lot stronger than us. And when we come this year, even though we've grown a bit, like, we don't really feel the strength levels as that much different because you've been playing with that like, for the 23s and then mm. obviously for VP you've been playing with like the first team as well. Mm. We went to this game against um, Derby when we played. And, like, it, was, it, was, I mean, it wasn't emotional, wasn't it? But obviously it was like a weird feeling that like, we was watching him. He was proud, didn't it? Like, you were proud because you've been playing with him ever since like you were young. And then he managed to make the breakthrough, and he was like, "Yeah, this is inspiring. Like, that's where everyone wants to be, you know." The under 15 and 16, he was really yeah. pushing our luck with coaches. I would say so. We, we, we had been warned back then, obviously. So, if we carried on how we were behaving when we was 15, like, under 15, under 16, so now you wouldn't be able to get through because there's things you have to do now. Like, you have to be mentally tough during the game. You have to be tactically switched on. And back then, we wasn't doing those things. So, them kind of sticking with us and. Like, them sticking with us, telling us the truth, what we didn't want to hear. It's helped us to, to get here. Somebody does something good. Hey, brilliant, man. Love that. Because as a player, how does that make you feel when your peers say to you, hey, they're brilliant, man. Love that. Yeah. I think that's massively important. If somebody does something good, tell them. Tell them. If somebody does something poor, tell them. But how? This is a question I'm asking you. I don't know the answer to you guys, but how? You cannot ever go out onto a field of play thinking, I'm trying to say something. It's always going to be different to the younger guys, it's always going to be a little bit harder, I get that. It's everything's a communication. Everything in football is communication. But don't ever be frightened to, to, to have a word with someone, because I'm telling you, if you do something well and somebody encourages you, there's nothing better from your own, from your own players. Absolutely, so proud of you. Everybody back home will be watching, everybody will be proud of you, families, all the supporters.